We will speak today as it relates to the idea of that which represents energy body calibrations. Understand that your heart space is constantly evolving. Understand that the energies that pertain to your body, that pertain to your mind, that pertain to your soul, are in a constant state of expansion. Understand that how your planet works at this time is all part of magnetic field fluctuations that are occurring through the transit of you continuing to move deeper and deeper into the inner spirals of the galaxy herself. And that through these particular transitional times, you will experience what's known as quote-unquote ascension symptoms, or in our particular form of understanding, energy body calibrations. Now, basically, these energetic body calibrations represent the idea of often headaches, ringing within the ears, neck aches, back aches, back pains, heart palpitations, digestion issues, a heightening in blood pressure, weakening or shall we say aching within the joints of the body, certain fields of energetic fluctuations, sensations of buzzing or inflammations that may take place upon the crown area, the neck, the shoulders, the arms, the hands, the fingers, all of these are in that sense very common atypical forms of energy body calibrations. Understand that what is happening right now upon your planet is that you are going through an intense transmutational effect. That your body is actually mutating. And that it is actually transforming into a new degree of genome that represents the human form. The sun is responsible primarily for these particular types of transformations. The reason being is because your own sun is transmuting itself. This is basically why you once had a yellow sun and has now become a very bright luminescent white sun because it is transmuting. As it transmutes, as it changes, as it alters itself, so do you. And so the whole idea of these particular calibrations that are taking place can often, we understand, cause worry, cause concern to some of you. And that you may go to the doctor and you ask the doctor, what is happening with me? These are the symptoms I have. Your doctor does a full analysis on you and discovers that there is nothing wrong with you. That everything checks out fine. Whatever it is, it must just be in your imagination. Well, no. It is not just the idea of the imagination. This, again, is all part of a transmutational effect. Understand that your energetic fields are very much in tandem, linked, and in that sense, in appropriation, aligned to the energetic fields, the magnetic fields of your own planet. When your own planet goes through fluctuations of magnetics, so does your body. Eventually, there will come a point to where the fluctuations of magnetic fields will become so intense that the orientation of the magnetic fields will actually allow you to, shall we say, increase in the idea of intuitive and empathic qualities. Therefore, being able to become that of a fourth density race. Being able to communicate with others telepathically, empathically. Being able to communicate with other beings that you could perceive as apparitions, or again, other particular beings existing in different dimensions. The veils are thinning. So when you are having these particular calibrations, for example, the idea of the ringing of the ears, some people just feel it as ringing on the right side of the ear or ringing on the left side of the ear or ringing in both ears together. This has to do with the idea of magnetic flux. This is all part of your energy field that is moving into different fluctuations of calibration. Your energy body is in a state of flux because that is how it negotiates on an ethereal level as it pertains to transformations that are happening within your DNA, transformations that are happening within your neurological programming within the brain. As the brain goes through certain forms of fluctuations, states of transformation, your magnetic field again is the primary aspect to this. And basically you are receiving these tones in the ears as part of these calibrations, looking into the idea of a 
North Pole, South Pole idea. That the right ear would represent more to the positive, that the left ear would represent more to the negative, and that these again represent different fluctuations, and that these fields are spinning. When your DNA in that sense is mutating, you will discover that there will be appropriate emotional states, appropriate mental states, appropriate physicalized states that will respond in kind to these transformations. This is why at times you may feel that you're having really, really good days and really, really sour days. This is all part of the idea of the calibration effect, moving into the idea of how your energy body is going through different calibrative states. That the idea in that sense of what you would understand as headaches that are taking place, again, all part of symptoms. The toxicity within the body is basically attempting to move. Understand that your own earth is working with you to help pull out these particular forms of energies of toxicity. Your own sun is working with you as well too to help pull out these energies of toxicity. You are working with yourself. Other beings are working with you as well too to help release and pull out these particular forms of toxicity. The idea of many of these headaches or again other particular forms of sores, other particular forms of discomforts are all part of energy flowing through your body and clearing out the pathways, what you would understand in that sense as nadi tubes. Now basically your nadi tubes work together in the way of functioning as a type of ethereal nervous system. This is often discovered deeply within your own, shall we say, Indian traditions. And that through the idea of the nadi centers, the nadi tubes, this is being flushed out. The idea of the air that you breathe, the idea of the light that pounces upon you in that way through sunlight, the idea in that sense of your diet, the idea of your thinking, your mentality, your belief systems, everything in that sense represents some portion of energy. Belief systems, again, harden much of these areas of the nadi tubes, the nadi veins. And basically what you are doing is you are connecting with this particular type of energy that represents transmutation and it is flushing you out. So again, this is why the ears themselves will sound. Your magnetic field is in flux because you are going through changes. You are calibrating yourself appropriately. You will feel these particular forms of transformations again because you are being born anew. Situations will come together in your life that you may feel to be very, very disruptive and are happening on a very accelerated, rapid level. And you're feeling, what is happening here? Am I being cursed? Am I being hexed? Why do I always feel that these last few days have been so intense? Because you have reached a point of an agreement that has allowed these particular forms of transformational situations to be purged from your being. Understand that evacuation of energies does not just occur through the idea of the physical vessel you see before you. Much in regards to these evacuations will actually happen through situational circumstances. So basically what that means is that your own state of being is flushing out many of these particular forms of situational circumstances. Understand that everything that you know as your body in that sense is 90% automated. Understand that what is happening through the idea of alignments that are taking place throughout your planet, taking place in regards to what you are occurring, experiencing that way is also 90% automated. You are basically looking at your reality body. You are looking at your environmental body, your situational body, your temporal body, your causal body. Those are being flushed out as well. So people who you felt that have been in your life that are toxic, people who you felt in that sense do not represent that, which in that sense is in harmony to you, are basically being flushed out of your life. And this is happening based upon the mentality that you are naturally obtaining. You are naturally obtaining this new mentality where you are just in the mood to not have these particular people who may seem toxic in your life anymore. They are flushing themselves out. That is not to say that there will not still be challenges for you to work with, that there still will be some certain core issues. That will still be a part of it. But the whole idea in that sense is that much in regards to what can go, much in regards to the energies that have been stagnant, that are now shaking loose, will now start to manifest not only physically, not only mentally, not only emotionally, but situationally upon your planet. 
throughout your own reality. And basically, you're getting much more of a hindsight on awareness, a reflection, and a realization about what these particular people represent. And now that you see what they represent and you've seen this particular reflection that they cast, you therefore decide, thank you, but no thank you. I no longer wish to have this toxicity within my reality, and so now I close the gate. Now I close it down because I am calibrating. My body is going through changes. Everything pertaining to the body, mentally, physically, emotionally, situationally, is all transforming, is all going through this flush, this detoxification. So again, these particular physical symptoms are just a very small portion about the transmutational, the transitional, the detoxifying effects that are taking place within your life. What can I do, Adronis, to make this appear more smooth? To allow the waters to settle a bit more? Just witness them. Witness the changes. If you are feeling that there are some physical aches and pains that are happening as you are transmuting, take care of yourself. Drink lots of water. Rest yourself appropriately. Indulge in play. This is basically what we would suggest to everybody, is that you are doing three things on a daily level. Rest, play, work. Let the three of those be evenly distributed throughout your day. You're getting plenty of rest, you're having plenty of play, and yes, you can still enjoy plenty of work. But let it be work that serves you. Let it be play that truly fulfills you. Let it be rest that rejuvenates you. That's the idea, is being able to work together in that way, taking care of yourself, working with the body, communicating with the body. If there are times when you feel confused, just be in your space. Just focus together in regards to that state of confusion and realize it's okay to be confused. Do not feel that you are being hard on yourself because you are not able to decide exactly what best to do with your energy. Sometimes there's nothing to do with your energy but just to sit with it just to be with it and allow the energy to flow through you naturally so that it can do its job in cleansing you. The whole key here is the more that you can reduce yourself in the process of concerning yourself so much about what to do with your time, what to do with your focus, what to do with your energy, what to do in regards to these situations that are coming up that may be so intense, the more that your own natural body on all its levels can heal. It's about lessening the idea of demand upon yourself. This is where we say, have your comfort zone here. Be inside your comfort zone. Do not feel that you are sl slipping around and falling into this very large moat that represents the out of bounds, this sludge, as it were. Because basically, in that sense, that sludge is very, very appealing to retaliate against. And that is the whole purpose of the sludge, of the debris, of the toxicity that is existing within your reality. It is seductive. It is very, very alluring to get involved with. As long as you get involved with the sludge, with the toxicity, with the conflict, you will now start to see yourself being dragged out of your comfort zone and being able to be plunged into that sludgy moat. Give yourself a rest. Stop feeling that you need to defend your self-honor. It's not important. What is important is that you are maintaining yourself in an area that you feel is comfortable. Well, Adronis, a lot of things are happening. My friends are doing this. My family is saying this about me. My kids are doing this about me. My job is feeling like it is in chaos. Maybe I'm not making enough money right now. Maybe I need to do this. Maybe I need to do that. Let it all go. Just be here. Just be one with your energies. Just take care of yourself. You are not here to change the world. And again, this is what we even say to this conduit, because he feels he needs to. He doesn't. None of you do. Just be in your world. Just enjoy everything that represents your world, period. And let these calibrations take effect by listening to your body and managing your body appropriately in regards to care, in regards to nurturing, in regards to loving it in all of its levels. 
And that is how you are able to successfully calibrate through these changes. If again, ringing in the ears becomes so intense, take a glass of water, drink it down, and just being able to tune into these frequencies. If it's a large, long buzz in that sense, a lot is being done inside the body. It does not help the body if you start to worry, if you start to concern yourselves. We understand that again, some of these particular symptoms can be quite intense. Lay with it, lay down with yourself, comfort yourself, take care of yourself, rest yourself, and just let this particular form of course of action take its part. Your body is not deliberately hurting you. It is attempting to flush out much of these particular forms of toxicities that has been within it for a great deal of time. And in order for it to do that, it must allow itself to become calm and allow these energies to change. This is why primarily, most of the time, it happens during nighttime while you are sleeping. That's all part of it. So as we've stated, your heart is growing, your body is growing, your magnetic fields are expanding and fluctuating. Your planet is going through a transitional state of moving deeper into the galactic core. This is all part of this time right now where transmutation is taking effect, where you are mutating into becoming a brand new fourth density human. That is what's taking place upon you right now. Again, approximately 90% of the transformations that are taking place within your body are automated. It is your body taking care of this. What your body is basically asking you to do is, yes, be attentive to your health, lessen the demand and the process and the retaliation action that you place because it does not solve anything. You do not need to retaliate against yourself, against others. The key here is being able to work with this energy and discover what is truly behind the mechanism of the people that you attract, what is truly behind the situation here that it is attempting to tell you, to calibrate yourself, to readjust yourself and start walking a new path. Let the energy body calibrations work as they are designed to. Again, your body is not here to harm you. It is here to help flush out much of the toxicity that it has been given in this way through the idea of skewed states of focus that you felt was so important to you when in fact the body, it's not important at all. That's why it's being flushed out. So allow patience with yourself, allow nurturing with yourself, take care of yourself, send yourself lots of love, making sure that your body is replenished with appropriate liquids, with appropriate nutrition that will allow you to again, feel rejuvenated, feel relaxed and feel calm. This is what will help your body. Please talk to your body, communicate with your body, as there are many ways that this can be done. We thank you very much for the opportunity of this interaction today. I am Adronis of Sirius. Thank you again. Farewell for this time again. We now return to the conduit. We will speak to you again, as now is forever, and all is one. Goodbye. Goodbye.